Good day everyone, you're welcome to the channel. This is Uglo Fashion and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'll be showing you the making of this Garad Cape Top. It's well detailed and also beginner friendly. So for this tutorial, I used this two Ankara. They are leftovers, so I can't really say they are yet. They are like one, one and a half yet. So first of all, I folded the pattern paper into two. Then I marked the shoulder span, that's 15 inches. Then divided by two, that's 7.5 inches. I marked that here. And I also marked from shoulder to under bust because as you can see, the V neck shape ends at the under bust. So I marked that and connect it back to the shoulder with slant shape because it has v-shape so that's the best way to get my v-shape after connecting the two dots together i placed my tape back to the shoulder to mark the neckline so for the neckline i used three inches for the width so i proceed to mark the three inches and after marking the three inches i also used six inches for the length so next is to connect the two together so after connecting, you can see I made V-shape there. So after connecting the two, I cut out the pattern. And after cutting, I also reshaped the shoulder side. You know, before I cut, I ought to have reduced the shoulder by one because of the shoulder slope. But I did that after cutting. And I opened it up so that you can see how it looks like you know it was initially on fold next i reshaped the shoulder that i said earlier i marked one inch at this angle at this point here then i connect it back to the neckline so this is just to create our shoulder slope you know the shoulder is not straight and after marking that out i, I also cut that out so after cutting now we are done with the lv pattern so we are going to use this pattern for both the front neckline and the back neckline because they have the same pattern. And I've proceeded to cut that on the fabric and I added half inch allowance. This is because of the gather that will be joining to it. So I added half inch allowance to the pattern I have. I cut two pieces for front and two pieces for back. That's because I'll be using the fabric to turn each other. One will serve as facing and the other will serve as the normal fabric so you can use any sides of the fabric to do this facing so now i place the front bodies one side and i place the back on the other side and i pin the neckline next i proceed to the machine to sew and also give it a good press so after ironing the two together i also pick the one for front and the other for the back i stitch the shoulder side so this is how to go about the shoulder you pick the front or the back you place one in between the other as you see me do then i proceed to pin and move to the machine to stitch the four pieces i have together you know it to be four now two inside the other so i proceed to stitch the four pieces together and after stitching this is what it looks like then i also top stitch on the edges so i have the front and the back together now next is to fix the gathered part and for this we have to do little calculations to get the length of the gather and the width so for that i measured the top length that's 24 inches then for the v-neck shape that's 13 inches i subtracted the two from each other then i have 11 inches left and i added 1.5 inches to the length so out of the 1.5 1 inch is for the folding to fold the m and also the half inch to stitch to the v-neck and after that i measured the length of the v-neck you know it was initially 13 inches that is shoulder to under bust but now i'm measuring the slant side so i have 16 inches there 
I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's not the straight side now I'm measuring. I have the um, I measured the slant side. So I have 16 inches there and I multiply the 16 inches by two because it's on foot. That is for the back. So for the front also, I multiply by 16 by two again. You know, I have 16 at the back and 16 at the front on foot. So which means I have 32 inches at the front and I have 32 inches at the back. And I multiply it by 1.5. So if you are doing yours, multiply it by 2 or 2.5. The reason why I used 1.5 is because my fabric is not much. You know, it's just a leftover. Like I said, it's not really up to 2 yards. It's not even up to 1 and half yards. So that's why I manage the fabric. Next, I measure it so that you can understand what I am explaining here. So 32 multiplied by 1.5 give 48 inches. So this is the part that will be gathered. This one. 48 inches and I have two pieces of this one for front and the other for the back next I measured the length so the length is 12.5 inches that's the length you know I've added 1.5 for folding the hem and for stitching the v-neck so like I said I have two pieces this is the other pieces with me here one for front and the other for back Next, I folded the hem and I stitch. So the remaining half inch that I will be stitching to the v-neck, I stitch once there, and I use the last tension of the machine to stitch this. So after stitching, I picked one of the thread, the one under, and I start. I started pulling. So you can use two lines anyways because if you stitch only once while pulling, the thread may cut. It's my cut off. So in order to avoid that, you can just stitch it twice so after that i picked the v-neck and the gathered and i pinned the two together all around also note that i have stitched the gathered together that is the front piece and the back piece you know i have two pieces on the table before so i've stitched the two together and i proceed to pin everything around the v-neck and move to the machine to stitch them together so now our Cape top is ready so thank you very much for watching this video to the end please like and share the video and subscribe as well and for those that have been sending me good messages thank you very much i'm so much grateful see you in my next video bye